Hi YouTube, I'm gonna try to transfer the chip from the sleep sensor on the latest 2021 MacBook Pro 16 inch A2485. So, not exactly sure how well I was gonna work, but I'm gonna try to use first the soldering iron and see how it goes. If it's gonna do me any good. I'm warming it up from the other side. Now let me get a different tip. This should work a little better. There we go, yep. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it, I think. Okay, very good. Just gonna turn this off for now. I'm gonna clean up the chip, because this chip is from the liquid damage laptop. Okay, so we're gonna clean this up. I'm gonna use regular solder here. I'm not gonna use low melt. I don't think it's a low melt. Let's scrape these things. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna, what I'm trying to do is I wanna save this uh, sensor because otherwise it need uh, you need a GSX account to program this sensor in order for it to work. Even though this is just a magnetic sensor, so I already tried. I got a replacement from uh, original replacement from another Ma MacBook. I tried installing that sensor and it doesn't do anything. I mean doesn't work basically and this sensor is damaged so I have to save this sensor basically by transplanting the chip hope it can be saved because this is a little messed up there's enough hope there's enough uh, meat here to for it to work, we'll see. Okay. Uh, let me see. I wanna use some solder here. I'm gonna move it around and leave a little solder on each pin. Uh, that should do. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need to clean it up so I can see the orientation. And we're gonna remove the chip from the original sensor and move this chip 
on this part of the hour chip okay put this aside okay same thing So let's get this one out. There we go. Okay. And this is perfect. So let's move this chip on its spot. That's it. Make sure it budged a little bit there. But overall, I think we are good. So let me clean it up and we'll see if we got it or not. Yep, should be fine. Yep. Everything seems to be soldered properly. So let's install it and see if it's gonna do. Okay, so the sensor is back in place into the iMac, as you can see, it dims the display. Dims it out when you close it. However, okay, so that's the deal. And that's the sensor I'm talking about, this is where it's located. However, um, I just mentioned the thing, so it's kind of interesting. When I just installed the sensor, I did not have this laptop set up. So it was actually not working. So I set it up, put username, password. It was not working. So when you close it down, it wouldn't and wouldn't dim. You know, it wouldn't turn off. The display wouldn't turn off like as you can see right here. Okay. So only after I set it up and restarted the laptop, I actually tried to do PRAM, P, PRAM reset, but I think this one does not work on this Macs. So it didn't do anything. I, I, hold, I held it anyway. 
So after I restart the Mac by holding, you know, uh, command option PR, even though it didn't do the PRAM reset, only after that it started working. So before you actually transfer that chip from one cable to another, try set up your Mac and restart a couple times. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, but maybe this procedure is not actually necessary. And if you guys find that out, let me know, comment, you know, I would appreciate it if you, because I mean, I don't have another sensor to try and to mess with it. So if you guys uh, find that it's not necessary, please comment on the video. I would really appreciate it. It's going to help the community. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If uh, you like my videos, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you like my videos. And as always, have a lovely day, guys. Bye.